Welcome back, Duck fans. The year two season is officially underway, and GM Superb Man has a lot of work ahead of him to get the Ducks back into the playoffs. The team is once again one of the best defensive squads in the NHL, so we just need goal support. Is Jacob Vrana the perfect fit to help get this team over the hump? Tune in to find out. All right, Anaheim, we are back. And it's time for us to continue our year two season simulation with your Anaheim Mighty Ducks. After starting the year, we actually started off pretty well, but we've gone on a little bit, of, a little bit of a losing streak, and our record is nine, twelve, and one. And it's time that we make a decision. We're coming up to the RFA deadline to give them a contract, which is at December first. And I was asking you guys in the last video about Jacob Verana. I spent like the last five, ten minutes talking it over with the Twitch scouts, going over potential trades, um, different strategies and options. And I think everyone, YouTube and Twitch, all agree that Jacob. Verano would be a great acquisition for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Now, just to get you guys caught up, because I know it's been a little bit of a while, um, team stats, right? The Anaheim Mighty Ducks right now are doing a great job keeping the puck out of the net. The goals against per game were second in our division, but uh, the story is, is even better when you apply the NHL uh, what's it called? Category to it. Because look at this. One, Dallas is only making 2.11 goals against per game. That's crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're the seventh best defensive team in the NHL. Forget our division. Seventh best in the NHL. So we got to find a way to score goals because watch this now. Goals four per game fourth worst all right so even though we're keeping the puck out of the net it's not going to help when we can't score more goals than that so that's why a guy like Jacob Vrano helps out the power play he's young enough I think he's 25 years of age I just don't know about his chemistry but if his chemistry plays out it's a perfect trade for us okay so when I look at uh, the lineups that we have right now I think Jacob Vrano would be best suited to slip into the second line just because this first line of uh, of uh, our two youngins Maxime Comtois and Sam Steele along with the guy we picked up last year Brett Connolly who I believe is in his last year oh he's got another year after this I mean they're killing it on the first line Connolly's got 14 points but he's a plus eight that's the number I'm looking for Sam Steele a plus seven Maxime Comtois plus seven so that second that first line is doing their job I want to hold on to Max Jones I want to hold on to Ricard Raquel Jacob Silverberg Here's the guy I'm thinking about moving on from to pick up Jacob Vrana, right? 31 years of age. He's got uh, another two years after this season, so three more. Uh, the salary's a little bit high. Um, he's plus minus is one, but here's the thing. We have Connolly at 29, Silverberg at 31. These guys are getting a little bit older. I think it's time that we flip them for some youth. Even if we miss the playoffs, I'd rather miss the playoffs with a guy like Jacob Vrana on the team than a guy like Jacob Silverberg because Vrana's got the youth. He can get better. He comes back stronger for next season. Silverberg's at that point. Like, he's right in his prime. He's got to be winning a Stanley Cup. He's got, like, another year or two before he starts to drop off unless he's playing in a top six. Uh, so I think I'd like to get Jacob Vrana for that second line. Don't know what I want to do with the third line. People are saying that Trevor Zegras should be dropped back down to the AHL. I want to give him the chance to play in the NHL. He didn't do a lot of growth in the AHL last season, so... Uh, I don't know what I want to do there. The defense looks fine. Our goaltender, John Gibson, he's doing his job with a 918 save percentage. We just got to find a way to score some goals. So that's what we're going to do right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I can't simulate any further uh, without risking the RFA deadline at December 1st. So here it is, Washington Capitals. Now, this has the potential to be a huge trade. So I want to make sure that I do it the right way. I don't want to fleece Washington, and we have to apply all of our rules. So Washington, 10, 8, and 1. Uh, it's really early in the season, but they have a good team. They signed Alexander Ovechkin to a two-year contract, and pretty much everybody is like 31, 36, 29, 33, 27. Uh, Verana is the one guy they couldn't sign, 25. Schultz, 31. Eller, 32. TJ Oshie, 34. So essentially, Washington's loading up and trying to win one more Stanley Cup before Alexander Ovechkin retires. So a guy like Jacob Silverberg absolutely makes sense on this team. When you look at their forward core, they got a lot of them they really do you can't count Verana but one two three four five six seven eight nine their ninth guy is below what's it called 80 overall so a guy like Silverberg would fill out their top nine with all 80 plus so I'm gonna get Verana in there right and I'm gonna get Silverberg in there bang bang they want him now, we got to make this worthwhile for Washington. They're a team at the top of the salary cap. We're a team that has some cap flexibility, at least for the next few years. So what we're going to do first to make this nice and juicy for Washington, we're going to retain 50% of Jacob Silverberg's uh, uh, 
salary, making him a $2.6 million player. So if Washington were to get him, they'd get an 83 overall sniper who's 31, who fits into the age group of every other player on that team. He's got another two years after this year, which he will be able to play to. He'll only be 33, all right? And he's only going to cost $2.6 million. Now, they're still over the salary cap, so this is what I'm going to do. Watch this. Other forwards on their team, sorted by salary. Look at this guy. In the AHL, they have Richard Ponick. In the AHL, they have Carl Haglin. Both of these guys are in their 30s, making $2.6 million for another year after this one. Meaning, I could free up $5.2 million for them for this season and for next season while giving them an 83 overall sniper at 2.6. I am freeing up $2.6 million of cap space for Washington while I get back a mid-20 overall sniper. Now, I'm going to have to eat these contracts for a couple of years, but that's my point. We're not in salary cap trouble right now. So I think this is actually better than Silverberg's contract, right? So I think this is fine. Now, there's no way this trade is going to go through the way it is. Let me just see this trade rejected. Uh, you've done all right meeting our block needs, but the value we're sending is not sufficient at all. Now, I was looking at what else we could give them. I don't want to go down the route of giving them high draft picks like a first or a second. So I went to skaters matching the block, and we have a defenseman that I think has become expendable on this team. Josh Mahora. 23 years of age, 80 overall. He's got some good potential, medium top four, right? But I just don't have a spot for him on this team. And if we don't play him, he's going to drop to medium top six. And it's something that I don't utilize a lot, but I do still like the advanced analytics. Take a look at him. He's a two-way defender who doesn't throw the body. So that means he's a two-way defender. He's an offensive two-way defender. I want this team to be all about defense. I need all of my defensemen. Unless you're a Jamie Drysdale, I want all of my defensemen throwing the body. So I think a guy like Josh Mohora is definitely trade bait here for us. And just to show you guys quickly, because i got to justify this to our fans, um, our defensive prospect pool, we still have Par Axelson. We still have Jamie Drysdale. We still have Brendan Gooley, who's one year older, actually in the NHL. To me, Gooley and Mahura are the same player for us. So we got to get rid of one. We have Axel Anderson. Uh, we have Lindholm, who's 27. Fowler, who's 29. We have tons of space for uh, for our defense. We don't need a guy like Josh Mahura. And when I look at the Washington Capitals, look at their defensive core. All right? They're all older guys. Carlson, 31. Schultz, 31. Dylan, 31. Orloff, 30. Kempney, 31. J uh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk, 30. So Mahora's right there at 80 overall, but he's 23 years of age. He, max he matches up with this guy, Alexiev. So it's it's a guy that can help them right now in Jacob Silverberg and a defenseman that can help them in the future. Now, what are you guys saying here in Twitch? Cuts? We have the green light to try this out. Johnny, you still have to pay Verana. Don't worry about that. I got cap space. Verona's not going to cost that much year number one. I can, I can, I can, I can take it. He's only going to ask for like five million or something. This is a terrible trade. Green, green, goof, red light. Well, tell me why it's a red light, boys. I want to get ourselves a goal score for this season. We need to upgrade. This is this is an upgrade on a sniper, and it's a younger sniper. We're giving a defenseman that we don't need, and we're helping them out. What do you guys think? Let me just show you guys on YouTube what we're seeing right now with the Twitch Scouts. It's a little bit 50-50, but I'm seeing more greens pop up right here. This guy is Brian Burke 2.0. Retain less. Retain less. Well, I got to make sure that I'm not fleecing Washington, and I think this salary helps them out. We get what we want. So you know what? I'm going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now, if they're getting Mahora, and I'm getting these two guys, maybe I'll get a draft pick back out of this as well. Hang on. Let me just try it out. Let me just try it out like a third. Let me just see what they say here. Let me see what they say. Bang. Whoa! There it is. All right. So I got a third rounder back from it as well. Josh Mahora and Jacob Silverberg at 50% retained, and I take on a uh, uh, half Aglin and Panic, and I get myself Jacob Rana. Jacob Rana, welcome to the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. GM Superb Man pulls the trigger and brings the young man. Woo! To the West Coast. All right, all right. So now we got the roster moves. Uh, now, now, don't worry about the roster moves yet. Edit lines. I'll do this. Hang on a second. We have to sign Verana. So this is my NHL team. I want to make sure that I don't screw up the line. So Troy Terry, you're going to get your ass in there. Plus, th we get a tr plus three with Troy Terry on that third line. The second line. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to get some ice time for Troy Terry. Uh, and then uh, Zach Hyman. Yeah, I'll get Zach Hyman in there. Okay. Okay. 
starting lineups. I need my special teams. What is this? Defenseman. Let me just throw anyone in the ghoulie. Just get your ass in there for right now. Anybody else? Extra attackers. My God. Three on three. Ricard Raquel. And I'll throw in uh, Troy Terry. Just so I know exactly who it is. All right. So there's the trade. Now, uh, best line. Back to the line. Did I best? Who's not? Uh, who didn't get? I just got to throw a defenseman in there. Coran, you just go in there. There you go. Yeah, because I don't want to hit best lines because I know I've already gone through. So there it is. So again, just to show you guys what Washington has now, um, this, to just prove I didn't fleece them. They have the $1.5 million of cap space and their forward core now. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They got a top nine with 82 or above. That is certainly a good trade for Washington. And it gives us what we need. Now, I don't know about the chemistry, but let's see. Let's see what we got here, all right? So, players, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. RFAs, where are you? Jacob Verana, 86, 25 years of age. What does he want? One-year deal. Woohoo! All right, so I could go all the way up there, but because he's an RFA, he's got to prove to us what he wants. One-year deal. I can save a little bit of money on the one-year deal because I'm giving him what he wants. So, I'll just go down to 3.750. All right, one year, 3.750. That means he'll be 26, and maybe maybe I can offer him a seven-year deal, that which will take him up to 33. Perfect. All right, so one year, 3.75 for Jacob Vrana. Boom. There it is. All right, so we're going to try to get him signed. Uh, I only have a few days here to get him signed. Uh, yeah, don't have very long. No, we're going to have to get some games in without Verana in the lineup. So, yeah, we just have to advance here, boys. We we, we get to advance, so let's advance the day uh, up against the Arizona Coyotes. Now, is there anything I could do to my lineups? Because these wins matter. I got Troy Terry in there, Hyman. No, I took off uh, Zegers. Right? What the hell? Did the game automatically shove Zegers back down to the... Freaking damn it! The game scratched Zegers and sent his ass down to the AHL. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I got to get him in there somehow. Hang on. Uh, Zegers, get your ass playing. All right. Uh, Zegers, first line. You, second line. Kessler. Oh, Jesus. My AHL, man. We got to get these AHL players playing. <laughs> oh, my AHL's rough. All right. So it is. So so it is. I'll, I'll figure out the Zegers situation. What I got to do is I got to send Panic and Haglin down. I'll do that after. All right. So I'm just gonna go game up against the Arizona Coyotes. I want the good defense. Oh, here it is. Oh shit! The December first deadline for signing RFA players is just ten days away. That's see what I mean. We did this at the right time. You only have a short time to sign left wing Jacob Brown into a deal for this year. If you fail to come to terms with them, you will not be able to secure his services till July first for next season. Woo! 6-3 victory against the Arizona Coyotes. Good. Not keeping the puck out of the net, though. Come on, Vrana, sign, you jackass. What the hell is this? The quarantine for COVID? This is a video game. St. Louis, 12-7-2. Boom! And GM Superb Man has officially signed Jacob Vrana to the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Welcome, young man. Welcome. Okay. So, I did it. I went out there. We made our bet. And we won 4-3 against San Jose, uh, St. Louis. All right. Now, I got to get him in there. Got to get him in there. All right. All right. So, let's see what he's about. Uh, I got to go to roster moves. Is he in the AHL right now? How's that going to play out? He might be in the AHL. Uh, <laughs> hang on. In the system. Vrana, there it is. And uh, Zegers, get your asses back up here. And in the NHL, if any team wants to pick these two fools up, no problem. Panic and Haglin, sending them down. Are they eligible through waivers? Yes, they're both eligible through waivers. And Vrana, once I bring them up, I can't send them back down, but that's okay. All right, so Panic and Haglin. Anybody want them? Anybody want him? Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm make sure I'm doing the right thing here. Fran has no waivers. Zegras no waivers. Haglin and Panic are waivers. Yes, confirm. And they didn't pick him up, so no team wanted him. <laughs> All right, so edit lines. Let's see. Come on. Please let the hockey gods deliver a solid player for me here. So Troy Terram is going to take him out for now. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on, Verona. Come on, Verona. Come on, Verona. Oh, plus three. Okay. Okay, we're cooking with fire. We're cooking with fire. Oh, carry, shoot, efficient, balance. All right, solid, solid, boys. And I don't know exactly where we want to put them. First line, well, the thing is, Brett Connolly's set for the first line. I don't think I'll get a plus three on the second. It's, see, see? So, Verana, oh, we actually lose the plus? Yeah, we lose the, nah, nah, nah. For right now, boys, we're going to keep Verana on the second line. We can always move him up. Uh, What's holding us back on that first line? Ah, you. So, if I went, like, Verana and then douche. Ah, ooh, who do you guys want to have on the first line, Vran or Comtois? Because it comes down to those two. 
The first line was already doing pretty good. No, 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 no. I just convinced. We, we, we can make that trade. We can make that change. Everyone's saying Verena. Hang on, guys. Hang on, though. Hang on. Everyone listen to me. Everyone listen to me. This line has already been playing great. Let's see what this line can do. And if we start to lose, then let's make some changes. Right now, we're trying to maximize each line. So, like, the first line's uh, plus... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time with this. I'm gonna get this second line going. Now, Hyman, get your goofy ass out of there. All right. Trevor Zegers! Get your, ba get your ass back in there. Very nice. Uh, I have follow Cop and Lundstrom. All right, what do we like a... Uh... Woo! Okay, Getzlaff, Perry, and Zegers are getting third line ice time now. Lundstrom, Kopp, and Ayafalo getting fourth line. Play Troy Terry. Play Troy Terry. What can I, I know he's a good penalty killer. Uh, you can kind of play in the fourth line, but then I got to scratch Lundstrom. If I go Terry in there, I got four friggin'. Nah, no, I got to get Lundstrom. Troy Terry will get his uh, opportunity when we have some injuries. All right, I got a lot of players. Zegers is not ready. Well, the only way he's going to get ready is if he plays in the NHL, so I'm playing him. Uh, all right, so Raquel, Vrana, Jones, Comtois, Steel, and Conley looking good. Defenseman, yep, 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 yep. Now, Gooley and Manson. Manson wasn't doing good. Gooley? Nah, not good. Second line's doing fine. What about, like, a switch up, like Manson and Larson? Let's just try that. Give Manson the chance with Fowler. Larson pushing back down here with Gooley. Even though I know I want to play Larson, let me just let me just shake it up a little bit. Now, power play. Vrana, what can you do for me? Does he like the power play? He doesn't like this power play. All right, so let me quickly take a look at my head coach. Uh, San Diego goals. Just best line, though, for San Diego goals. I'll fix that after. Uh, the head coach might be something we want to definitely look at for next season. Because, what is this guy? It's like a umbrella? Cooper, what do you got, buddy? Uh, his power play is a shooting power play. And the power play is a balanced. Uh, we need a guy with a carry and overload. Basically, the power play should say overload, and the PP carry slash dump should say carry. We need that. And then the penalty kill, a diamond penalty kill would be nice as well. Fire the coach. No, 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 no. We're going to keep him for now. Remember, it's a five-on-five five coach, right? The defensive category, five-on-five, five, is why we're keeping the puck out of the net. Now, I know I've been uh, taking a while with this, but you got to do it right, boys. Got to do it right. So let's see if we can get at least a plus one. Yeah, I can't get like a... So Lindholm will throw in there. Gooley... I want, like, an offense. I don't have an offensive defenseman playing, do I? Hang on. Uh, yeah, because I just want it all defense. Yeah. Nah. Power play is not one of our specialties. Just got to deal with it. Uh, so, let's get Verana instead of Gooley. Lundstrom right there. All right, Verana. Where should we put him? What did he do last year with Washington? He had himself 24 goals. Yo, he's a shooter. 252 shots. He's a shooter. All right, so let's get him up on the first line right there. Uh, get a power forward with him. Sam Steele. Yeah. I think I might even move Ricard Raquel down. Uh, Corey Perry, Getzlaff, Lundstrom, Raquel. I might put Raquel right there and then, like, Zegers right here, man. Hang on. Zegers, playmaker. That's, yeah, I like that. I like that. What do you guys want on that first power play line? Zegers or Raquel? Because we already got Verana, Steele, and Comtois, and then we can spread the love around a little bit by having, like, Raquel right there, and then Zegers and Lundstrom, our two young guys, are playing the, the point, essentially, on the power play. Zegers? Uh, Zegers for points. Yeah, I want to give Zegers a chance here. I want to give Zegers... Because this is not hurting our defensive. This is... And I think our offense is still going to go up. I'm going to try that out. Uh, now, power play. I'm going to try to get the plus here. Uh, Verana and Steele? No. Can't get the pluses, huh? Cannot get the pluses. So, Steele and Vrana, Raquel and Comtois. Yeah, that'll do it for me. Penalty kill. Cop, Comtois, Max Jones, Ayafalo. Uh, we're not playing... What's his name? No, we're not playing. So, those are the only two guys we got. If I got Hyman and if I got... Yeah, we have all of our defensive players that we can throw in there. The three-man penalty kill. Yeah, not looking great. I know. Uh, Cop, Manson, Ayafalo, Larson. Is there anyone I could switch that with and get the... Damn. That sucks. Cop and Ayafalo. If I go like, no, I can't put a power forward on the point. That'll kill it. Get slap and steal. No, I'm going to get steal in there. Second line can be get slap. Yeah, sure. And then the shootout, Verana, steal, Perry, get slap, and Raquel. Sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So there it is. Jacob Verana is on the team. We moved the fourth line up to the third line. Our uh, penalty killers are on the fourth line now. We got... Plus threes and ones everywhere, five on five. Uh, power play is still a little bit weak. Penalty kill is a little bit weak, but uh, we got the goaltender to help out there. So we're going to see what we can do. Now, the AHL, I quickly did best lines. Let me just do it again. Who I got scratched? 
Uh, Mo Perry. So I just got to make sure Mo Perry gets in there. So you there. You there. Grant. Let me take out Kessler for Mo Perry. Our second rounder. All right. Mo Perry's in the lineup. All right. Perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are good to go. Haglin and Panic are down here helping out. Our defense, of course, Shillington, Larson, Axel Anderson. Get him up there. No, no, no. Which, yeah. No, 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 no. Par Axelson. What am I doing? There you go. Par Axelson and Shillington. Can I get a plus? There you go. Drew. Leave Shillington down there. Anderson. Beautiful. All righty. All righty. So I apologize for the micromanaging, but uh, I thought might as well keep you guys on board for that. All right. But now we can take it all the way to the trade deadline in this video. The Axel pair, Johnny. Now I want to make sure that they're just getting the chemistry down there so they're playing. All right. So our job is to take it all the way down to essentially maybe even the 16th. We'll take it right here just so we can set up the week before the trade deadline to make any trades. And then we'll have the trade deadline, which takes to the end of the season. So we're going to take it to the 16th of February, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see what the Anaheim Ducks can do. Keep an eye on Jacob Verana's stats. And uh, here we go. The very, You know what? The very first game, let's do a real-time sim and let's see how it plays out. Up against the San Jose Sharks. A, a practice of potentially a playoff uh, a format here for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. If they do indeed get there. So here we go. Game up against the San Jose Sharks. Uh, yes, Maxime Comtois on the first line. First line continuing to get it done here in Anaheim. And that's the future. Maxime Comtois, Sam Steele. Brett Connolly is doing a great job right now just to give these guys the chemistry that they need. Also driving up his value. He's got another year after this, which is great. Um, but once these guys grow, Sam Steele and uh, what's his name, uh, Comtois, we find that sniper, that 90 overall sniper. Bang, they go off, right? Timo Meyer is going to tie up the game for the San Jose Sharks. But Brett Connolly, the first line again for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Scoring their second goal of the game. Way to go, boyos. All right, coming to the end of that second period. Five minutes left. Anaheim doing what Anaheim does. Keeping the puck out of the net. And if we can just average, like, I, I don't even want to say we have to average three goals a game. Just we have to be above what we're keeping the puck out. Like, we were fourth worst for goals for. Give me that third goal, baby. Power play for San Jose. Oh, it's a long one. You stupid idiots. The, the penalty kill comes through for us. Cop and, uh, and, uh. And the rest of the penalty killers. Who was that? I have follow. There it is. Power play for Anaheim. Goes nowhere. Five minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. And with three minutes, two minutes left, let's see if Anaheim can hold on. So here we are. Two minutes left, baby. They're wearing the Anaheim Mighty Ducks D2 jerseys where they beat Iceland. Come on, boys. Hold on. It's like D3. You got to hold on at the end of the game. Sam Steele, our first line's out there. Sammy Steele across the blue line. Tries to find Maxime Comtois. But no, picked off by Sorensen. Look at that four check, though. Steele finds Connolly. Second of the game. No, it's blocked in front. And here comes Eric Carlson, the $11.5 million man. What a turnover. What a goof. Uh, no, don't go to line change yet. Logan Couture strips it. Attacking. Gets hit off the puck right there. Who was it? Echo in number four. It was probably Josh Manson. Good job, Josh Manson. Getting it done. Ekholm breaking it out for the Ducks as they go for a quick line change. Look at the speed by the defenseman. Ekholm, oh, but he gets hit off the puck. There he is, Jacob Vrana, number 13, ladies and gentlemen. He looks good. Maybe he'll get the empty net or I don't know. Vrana, oh, he's playing some good defense. He's got Kevin LeBanc pinned up against the boards. Don't let that puck in, Vrana. Don't let that puck in. Ekholm and Vrana doing a great job. Lindholm, break it out. Yeah, up to Ricard Raquel, over to Vrana. Here it is. Oh, no. Please get up. Please get up. Don't be injured. Jesus. I just traded for you. I just signed you. Don't fucking get a freaking concussion now as well. Woo. All right. Here come the San Jose Sharks. 50 seconds left. Are they going to pull their goaltender? Centering pass. What a great save by John Gibson. He throws it out. Freaking confidence on this man. Vrana tries to get around. Brent Burns. It's not going to happen. Thomas Hurdle. They are pulling the goaltender. 38 seconds remaining. Come on, Anaheim. Hold on. The Mighty Ducks. Utilize those Coach Bombay strategies. Ryan Donato, he's going to find LeBanc in the middle. What a great save by John Gibson. The man, the myth, the legend. We need to rely on him. Go, Maxi Jones. Go, Maxi Jones. Barry, oh, just get it in deeper. Something, you big man. 19 seconds remaining. Come on, Anaheim. Oh, no. Thomas Hurdle breaking it out. Ryan gets left. The captain. Find Scory Missy. Oh, no. 10 seconds. Don't let that be the game. He could have just got it in deep. Oh, my God, Ryan Donato, four seconds left. Yes, what a hit by Perry. Oh, my God, it almost got to Logan. And the Anaheim Ducks are going to hold on for that victory. Jacob Rana's very first game here in Anaheim. And they get themselves a 2-1 victory. Woo! Man, that was dangerous. Thank God for John Gibson, man. You are, you are the man here in Anaheim. I love you. So, look at that save. 
So let's get back to the main menu. Okay, so back out of that game. A 2-1 victory over the uh, San Jose Sharks. Keeping the puck out of the net, which is really good. And uh, this has been a pretty good start to the video, ladies and gentlemen. So let us continue it and uh, see how far we can take this good winning streak. We're 12-12-1. We pulled ourselves back above 500. I think we're a good 5-on-5 five -five team. So here we go. San Jose, divisional opponent, correct? I'm all messed up with my divisions now because of the COVID divisions. Right? Yeah, the, sh the Sharks are in our division. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> San Jose, let's see what we got. Uh, that's a 5-1 victory. So San Jose only scored two goals on us there in the last two games. I'm telling you, John Gibson, this set up, this coach, 6-19-1. God damn, we got to beat the LA Kings, please. Ricard Raquel is fully healed, so don't worry about that. That was just a nagging injury. All right, continue. Come on, we got to beat the LA Kings. We beat them in a shootout. All right, all of a sudden, we're on a little bit of a winning streak here, Anaheim. Six in a row, is it, or something like that? Uh, up next, Edmonton, 9-15 and 2. Not a great uh, record. They're not in our division. We win it. So, oh, my God. Jacob Verana. I don't I don't want to stop until we... I don't want to break anything up until it ends. All right? So, next up, Calgary. They are not in our division. They're having a good record or above 5. Oh, that's a, oh my God. What have I done? What have I done? Jonas Siegenhaller is being placed on waivers. Uh, Hershey Bears. That would be Washington. View player info. <laughs> 79 overall. Woo! 79 overall. Medium... Top six, 24 years of age. Defensive defenseman. Not bad. It's not bad. Claim him. Yes. Yes. All right. Give me a green light. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this up to the Twitch scouts. Uh, give me a green light, red light. Here's the thing. It's a roster spot. Uh, it's not going to hurt us long term. And it might give us might give us something to help out in the AHL. What do you guys think? Green? Green? Oh, green lights. Yeah, okay. Okay. So this is one of those times where I'm going to listen to the Twitch scouts. We are going to claim Jonas Siegenhaller on waivers. There it is. All right. So let's go to edit lines quickly. Just bring up the AHL squad. Try to get Siegs in there. Uh, who can he replace? Oh, hell yeah. That was a great call. Simon Benoit. Seventh defenseman. Get your ass out of there, Benoit. Uh, Siegenhaller. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and I could probably put Siegenhaller alongside of Shillington. Hang on. Ooh, Siegenhaller. Whoa, 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 whoa. Every position. Chili. First. So if I go you and you. Nah, they still don't get the plus. Interesting. All right, don't worry about that. So Axelson is still up there doing his thing. Uh, Segan Holler's back there. That's just going to help out the AHL team perform better, which will play into our hands about Mo Perry and, uh, and Tracy, Morand, Par Axelson, all those guys. All right, so that, that good job, uh, Twitch Scouts. Good job, solid pickup. And medium top six can become something. At 24 years of age, already in the 80s, he could definitely be like a bottom six defender for us. So let's continue. Montreal. They're a good team. They're above 500. Uh, Central scouting. And pfft, keep going. Keep going, Anaheim. My God. All right. We are winning games, boys. Up next, the Winnipeg Jets. They're two games above 500. And there it is. All right. So the first loss in a while. Let's see. We uh, we had uh, Vrana since the San Jose game. Uh, yeah. So with Vrana, one two three four five six six in a row with Vrana but even before he got here one two three four five six seven eight nine we just went on a nine game winning streak that's exactly what we needed it's exactly what we needed all right so hang on a second Vrana what are you doing here plus eight uh oh yeah I don't even have to because he didn't play with Washington seven points in seven games played four goals a plus eight I think having him on that second line is the way to go the first lines are plus eight that's the way and what about Zegers now he, they're getting better the minuses are going down oh I'm leaving it I got the team I got the team boys I got the team all right so we just had a loot we just had a loss let's get a win here against the New Jersey Devils team there you go six four so so here's where this is this is my point right so, in the last two games, John Gibson, I don't know if he played both of them, five goals against them, Winnipeg, four goals against New Jersey, but we actually scored some goals, and we got a W against New Jersey because we scored six. So, this is what I'm talking about, right? Like, we are keeping the puck out of the net, and now maybe we have a little bit more goal scoring, and that's all we need. We just need a little bit more, and we're getting it now. Montreal, 13-2. Uh, San Diego player Hunter Drew, don't worry about him. Uh, that's a 4-1 loss. All right, so recently we've been struggling a little bit. Might want to change... <laughs> <laughs> man youtube if you guys could see the twitch chat right now they are going off thank god uh pittsburgh let's see what we got back to back three two loss oh not liking what i've been seeing recently and uh the vegas golden knights a really good team let's just get this one out of the way uh replace player that's down there in san diego all right that's a shootout loss so let's see what we're doing here i might want to do some line changes Pfft, hang on a second <laughs> 
good lord. My god, man. If I don't pay attention, I'm going to have to ban everybody. Oh, this is fine by me. I got you guys. <laughs> ban, 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 ban. <laughs> Vran on the first. Well, they still got the plus eights in there. We Remember, it's just a dog day. We went on a 10-game winning streak. So you might have to... What's it called? You might have to just take your losses when they happen and then just hope that your team is going to go on like another six or seven game winning streak. I think we can do that. We're also seeing some of our younger players grow. Like was Sam Steele an 84 to start the year? I think he's growing up to an 84, right? Comtois could grow Zegris down here. Zegris is back to a minus three. You know what? Let's, let's change up that uh, third and fourth line. Let's get Zegris down to the fourth. Let's actually, you know what? We were winning with these lines. Just trust. Just trust it. Just trust it. Trust in John Gibson. He's going to bring it back. We're just going through some tough teams right now, okay? So, Chicago, they're a good team as well. Uh, oh, abdominal strain for Jacob Vrana. His estimated return is December 26th. All right, so Vrana goes down, and that gives us the chance to put Troy Terry in there. All right, because we knew that Troy Terry also gets the plus three. But what that also does, hang on a second here. Three on three. Uh, Ricard Raquel. Let me just get Troy Terry back in there. All right, I want to use Troy Terry because we're playing him. Might as well use him on the penalty kill. All right, so yeah, Maxime Comtois. Troy Terry, bang. All right, plus one on that penalty kill. And then the three-man penalty kill, I'm going to take Larson out. And I'm going to put Troy Terry on the point, baby. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that'll help out with the chemistry woes on the penalty kill. And Troy Terry can just do his job while Jacob Vrana's out. Six to five victory. Nice. So even with Vrana out, or he probably went out in that game... We're getting some we're getting some goal support. John Gibson, though, what's going on recently? John Gibson's freaking save percentage is definitely taking a hit. Save the game, you idiot. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point. Gibson, 920. Whoa! Keep that up, Gibson. I'm actually building a defensive team in NHL. This is incredible. I've never done this. Okay. Create a new file. The defensive, the defensive teams are tough, right? Because you're gonna be struggling all 82 games long. You're not gonna be able to go into autopilot, but we're doing it here. Winnipeg, they're a good team. Let's see what we got. A 4-1 loss, yeah. We're definitely going up against some tough teams here. Hayden Fleury, one year left. View player info. Uh, 79 overall, medium top six. Hmm, there's another guy. What do you guys think? The only thing is he's making $1.3 million, which might hurt us, but I don't think we're going to be going. Claim him. Claim him. I mean, it's the same as Seekin I, I I definitely could. Why not? View player info. 79 overall. What is he? A two-way defender. Depth, why not claim it? Hmm, let me think here. I wish I wish you could like access your roster when this screen comes up so I could see what I have. You know what, I'm gonna claim him. Yeah, I'm gonna claim him, no, I'm gonna claim him. So there you go. We're just adding to our defensive prospect pool, why not? Uh, AHL, so I got Siegenhaller in there. I got Axelson, I don't need to play this Drew guy, right? Hunter Drew, defensive defenseman. Let me take Drew out of there and let me get Hayden Fleury in there. All right. Now, is there any other way I can get Axelson, the plus one, Siegenhaller? There you go. All right, so Flurry and Siegenhaller just been added to the AHL squad. We're still playing Axelson, Shillington, Larson, and uh, and Axel Anderson. We're still getting the plus ones, and now Flurry and Siegenhaller are just going to bring those guys up. I like that. I like that. Even if they just stay on our team for one year, I still like that, man. Uh, okay. Okay, let's just trust our boys. Trust our boys. We're going up in Toronto, sub 500. What the hell? All right, the Maple Leafs. Let's see. one nothing victory over the Leafs. Let's go, John Gibson. That's what I'm talking about, my man. Yeah. Veranda's back. All right, good. So let me get Veranda back in there. Sorry, Troy Terry. You're a good, you're a good substitution for us, but I got myself some two-way forwards on this team, and they were better than you. Uh, Zegra is still a minus three. Gotta, I got to get him some ice time, though. So Veranda's in there. Special teams. I got to make sure that, yeah, Vran is not on the penalty kill. So it's going to be Maxime Comtois that goes back in there. All right. And the three-man penalty kill. Not Vran. It's going to be Larson, was it? Yes, Larson. Uh, there you go. Adam Larson. All right. So Adam Larson goes back in there. Verana is... Uh, did I put Vran on the three? You know what? I don't even think I put Vran on the three-on-three three or the four-on-four four Comtois steal. No, Vran is there. Three on three. Is there? Oh, he is there. Okay, he is there. I'm going to put him up on the first line. There you go, Perry. Yeah. And extra attackers, steal. Yeah, that's fine. Shootout. Vran is in there. Okay, good. I did put him in. 
All right, so let us continue our simulation, ladies and gentlemen. The Anaheim Ducks have pulled themselves above 500. We're coming to the end of the year, December 26th. We just had Christmas. Uh, Vegas, 28 and 8. Oh, my God, man. This is going to be a tough game. <laughs> Over hey, we got a point. We got a point. John Gibson, way to go, my man. Uh, the Minnesota Wild, a team in our division, a team that we're going to be competing uh, for a playoff spot against. Let's see. Uh, Cam Fowler's been injured with a fractured jaw. Oof, that's a rough one. January 14th. All right. Have to do some line changes there. It's actually not that bad. It's like two weeks. All right. So Cam Fowler goes down with a fractured jaw. Uh, uh, Manson went in there. For, so Forbert. So Forbert's going to be my defenseman. So is there any three and three? Oof. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try a plus three and a plus three and a minus one for these two guys. But now that I got Forbert in... Penalty kill. This is this was my genius this year. It's gonna be Ghoulie. You're gonna come out. Forbert's gonna go in. There you go. Still only got the plus one, really. Wow. Interesting. Well, well. And then Forbert for Larson. And that should at least give us the the even. You know? Yeah, there it is. So I really like the way I, this is what I like about the injuries. I've constructed the team, so now when injuries happen, we can turn into something different. Uh, but still effective, right? 5-2 victory over the Islanders. Tampa Bay, 23-13-4. Hey, that's a point. We got a point against Vegas and Tampa. Nashville, 17-19-3. That's a 3-2 victory. Carolina, 15-22-2. Come on. Let's go! I got a team here, boys. Freaking Gordon Bombay, nothing. GM Superb, man. I show up and in year two, look at this fucking squad. I got Scory Perry, Ryan Getzlaff, Zegris is playing, Lutstrom is up here, Gibson's playing like a Vesna. We get Vrana, and we're in the fucking playoff hunt. Come on, man. Let's go. Where are we in our freaking division? Yeah, we got some we got some space. Next up, Colorado Avalanche, 21-16 and 5. Watch now, the game's just gonna shit. Oh man, we're getting these W's. We're getting freaking goal support now, man. Get goals. We're seven, one, and two in our last ten. Let's go, Dallas. I'm not even looking at our record anyway. Okay, four nothing. We're due. I mean, that's fine. We're due. Vegas, tough team in our division, but now I can get Cam Fowley back in there. Look at this. Look at this team. It's a beautiful squad. This is absolutely beautiful. Fowler. All right, and I'm gonna mess you up there with Gooley again. Uh, I know this uh, micromanaging is a little in, a uh, little unfortunate, but uh, it's necessary. Did I just have fucking, what's his, oh man, I'm an idiot. I probably just had uh, that defensive defenseman on the power play. Oh man, bad, bad, bad. Uh, so Fowler's back in there, penalty kill. Fowler's back in there. Yeah, we're good. Okay, very good. Let's see what Vran is doing for us. In 20 games played, he's got 21 points. Oh, plus 15? Dude, Jacob Verana was the perfect acquisition. Just the absolute perfect acquisition. And there were actually dumbasses in the Twitch scouts who were saying, I got fleeced. <laughs> you morons. Oh, my God. All right, so Vegas is a good team. We know this. Uh, they're on the top of our division. We got to point out. <gasps> I am a freaking genius. This is, this is. Guys, this is reminding me of the 2012 LA Kings. This is reminding me, out of nowhere, they barely make the playoffs, it all comes together, and then they just turn into a fucking tough, big defensive squad that go on like a 4-5. Like, we are, I just got a point out of Vegas, and then I just got, I just beat Vegas, and they're top of our division. Look, the Golden Knights, 26-12-9, and and I'm 1-0-1 one, one, oh, one in the last two against them. I know that's, you know, that's not a lot to go off of, but... I think we're gonna be. I think we're gonna be in the playoffs. That Verana trade was massive, and that Brett Conley trade last year. You know, it's all coming together now. Detroit, we gotta beat Detroit. Shootout! Oh my god, <laughs> they were so. Oh, that's that's EA Sports for you. Uh, Florida, 31, 18, and oh, they haven't lost in sore shoulder. January 29th is uh, Conley's coming back. Uh, all right, so that's a three-two loss. 29th is not that far away because we have the All Star break. So you know, I'm just gonna advance. Against the Buffalo Sabres, 5-2 loss. Don't worry about that. All right, so 26-19-5. Good. We've set ourselves up for a, uh, a good run here, ladies and gentlemen. Extend Verana. Can I extend him already? Or do you have to wait till... Wait a minute. How does that work? But we already... Wait a minute. The Twitch scouts are saying to sign Verana. So, wait. If you sign a player to a one-year deal before December 1st, you can then extend him to a seven-year and eight-year extension after January 1st? You kidding me? I didn't know that. I thought maybe if you it didn't... Oh! He doesn't want an extension. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. What does he want? <laughs> hmm. All right. Should I try that? 
Should I try that? He said no. no. That's okay. Even if he says no, you can still make it work. You just can't get the, should I try that? Would you guys be okay with a six-year extension at $8 million per? You can't? Yes, I can. If I give them the years that they want, I can get a discount. So he wants a six-year extension. So I'm giving it to him. Seven mil? Too much? Hmm. I don't think that's too much, man. For a point-per-game player in his 25 years of age... I mean, if I wait too long, he's going to want... I think we should do it. I think we should just try. Because it's less than what he was at. Yeah, I'm going to just try. All right? Six times eight. I'm going to do it. Six times eight. That's about right. That's about right. That's Eight is perfect for a guy like him. All right? Six times eight. If he doesn't accept it, then we're going to have to do some qualifying offer nonsense in free agency. But don't worry about that. All right? Don't worry about that. He's new here. He doesn't. He maybe just wants to test free agency. Maxime Comtois wants a contract as well. One year... Might as well just wait on him. I don't want to... Yeah, might as well just wait on him. What about Sam Steele? Does Sam Steele want a contract also? Sam Steele... Oh, yeah, no, he doesn't. Six years? Okay, I'm just going to wait on these guys. Vran is the one guy. Vran is the guy that I wanted. These other guys have got to wait. All right, so let's advance the day. Uh, by the way, did thing thing of a bobber come back? Conley? Yes, he did. Okay, so Conley's back on that first line, which is what we need. Uh... San Diego player Hayden Fleury's been injured with a bruised hand. All right, so that's the AHL squad. Don't worry about it down there. Uh, boom! Jacob Vrana decides to accept the six-year, $8 million per contract and is now a member of the Anaheim Mighty Ducks long-term. Let's go. Let's go. That's a solid signing. So, in one, in one move, we bring in Jacob Vrana. And we get seven years out of him, essentially. This year, and now six more after this. And that'll take him up to twenty at uh, 31 years of age. I would have liked to offer him maybe an eight-year deal. But whatever, man. Six years, that's perfect. He, he's locked up. Whatever, man. It's perfect. All right, so let's continue. Uh, we got to take it to, what was it, February 16th or something? Oh, I didn't want to go too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So February, so we got two more weeks. All right, two more weeks of hockey. Let us Give me something where I know we're going to make the playoffs. Give me a good stretch run here, boys. All right, I need everyone to step up. Up against the Vancouver Cucks, 22-22-6. Oh, why did, why did I jinx them? Why did I make fun of them? Oh, my God, that's the hockey guys just shitting all over me. Pittsburgh, 28-17-7. They're a good team. Overtime loss, eight. To get a point out of a good team like that, I'll take it. Same thing with Boston, good team. Not in our division. All right, so be it, so be it. North Division for Ottawa, they're a good team. All right, we're going through the dog days, a one nothing victory, yeah. So, we might go through our losing streaks, but this team is still good enough to get on a winning streak. We're not there quite yet, but the playoffs could be a thing. And I'd like to give these guys the chance to make the playoffs themselves, you know what I mean? Now, i got to figure out, what the wild card, Metro Atlantic, we're, sh we're sharing the wild card with the Central, right? Yeah. So we're up against, we are actually up against the Canadian teams for a wild card spot. So we got 60 points. You got to watch out for the Maple Leafs. You got to watch out for the Canucks. They could be coming. Yeah, you're going to have to watch out for a bunch of these teams. All right, so next up, the Minnesota Wild. They got a good record. They're fighting for us. Yes, that's okay. Two in a row. Two in a row. Keep the good uh, good times are rolling. Uh, St. Louis Blues, come on. Come on. Hayden Fleury is back. Uh, I'm just going to just continue it for right now. Shootout loss. That's a point. That's a point. Arizona Coyotes. They're below 500. Come on. Give me points. That sucks. San Jose Sharks. 26, 26, and 4. That's a shame. We're winning. We're winning. We're getting points. The St. Louis Blues again. Last game. That's okay. We're getting points. We're getting points. That's the important thing. The fact is we started this video with a record of 9, 12, and 2 or something like that. We are seven games above 500. This is a great, great year for this team. All right? We're getting we're getting growth out of our younger players, and we get the chance to go on a playoff hunt. You know, I'm, I'm liking this. This is a good regular season. So we're going to end it here, ladies and gentlemen. But before we do, we're going to do our due diligence to see what kind of potential trades we can make at this year's trade deadline, which will be the content for the next video. So let's uh, let's see what we got and see what we can improve on, all right? I'm pretty sure it's our goals for uh, team stats. Our goals against has got to still be good. I know it does. Uh, goals against per game. Let's see. Goals against. We are the best goals against team in our division. Now, what about the NHL? We are the third best defensive team in the NHL. So, for anyone saying that GM Superman doesn't know how to build a defensive team, we're doing it this year. We are doing it this year. We are stellar defensively, okay? Uh, now, go back to my division, Pacific Division. Goals four per game. What are we doing? Goals four per game. We are, yeah, we're still struggling. We're not way up there, but we have improved. We're getting closer to three goals four per game. Now, the entire league, are we near the bottom of the table for goals four per game? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, tenth worst. So we still, it's there, but it could still just get a little bit better. So I, I don't know if I want to try to acquire offense at the trade deadline. I don't know if I want depth or if we just want to run with it, you know? Uh, power play percentage. Let's see this. I know this is going to be hurting us entirely. Let me just go back to our division uh, so it's easier to track. Uh, power play, we're the worst. Wait, oh my God, I was going to say our power play 2.76. No, I got changed there. Uh, 14.6. So, this head coach is really good at keeping the puck out of the net, but the power play is really tough to get going. If we could get our power play going, and I think the way you do that is bringing in an offensive defenseman to give that plus three on the power play, but I don't know, man. Penalty kill percentage, 82.9. Way to go, man. Those defensive stats. Home record, 15-8-3. Away, 14-14-5. Last 10, 3-4-3. Three, uh, should have been Bungie, but whatever. Um, yeah, I like where we are. This has been a successful year. We've de definitely taken strides. So forwards, uh, Sam Steele, 48 points in 59 games played. Ricard Raquel, 47. Maxine Comtois, uh, they're all plus players. Max Jones is a plus 24 on that second line. Connolly, 36 points, plus 7. Vran is a plus 17. 28 points in 33 games played. Beautiful. Cop, Lundstrom, our penalty killer. Zegris. Hey, 23 points in 50, and he's only a minus one. I'm fine with Zegris, Perry, and Getzlav doing it. You know what I mean? I'm fine with those guys. Terry, Hyman, I have follow. Yep. Defenseman, let's see what we got here. Matthias Ekholm, what a pickup. And we're going to have to figure out what we want to do with this guy because he's only got one year left. Do I sell these guys and try to make the playoffs? Damn, man, I want to hold on to this team now. We're playing great. And then this man, yes, John Gibson, 915 save percentage. Now, it's going up. It's going down. We've actually had some games where he's uh, he's he's allowed a little bit. So the save percentage is about the same as last year. Um, but he's doing his job. Look at the shutouts, though. He had six shutouts last year. Only one shutout this year. Interesting. Interesting. He ain't getting the shutouts this year. Or maybe it was Wedgwood. Yeah, Wedgwood has two shutouts. That's what it is. <laughs> save the game, you goof. Save the game. All right, I'll save it again. These, these Twitch scouts, they want to make sure that I don't accidentally lose what we've just... Uh, what we've just accomplished. And you know what? They're right. Thank you very much, boys. <gasps> I hate this. I got to continue to friggin' delete old save files. All right. There you go. So it's saved. Don't worry. I just always like to create a new one just in case something happens and I go back. Don't worry. I just overread it. We're fine. Uh, all right. So now our due diligence, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go around the NHL and see what we got. Now, first off. Players that we're trading, all right? Gibson, we're holding on to. Wedgwood, we're holding on to. No one's going here. Defenseman, Ax woo, Axelson, Drysdale, they're coming. Let's just go by uh, overall. Lindholm, Fowler, Ekholm. What do you guys want to do with Ekholm? I'm not actually asking you to right now. I'm just asking you to comment away because I got I to gotta read your comments and see. I mean, it's one year left, 31. He's definitely helping our team, but we can get ourselves some good value for that. You know, look what we just did with Silverberg bringing in Vrana. Do we do the same with Ekholm and bring in a younger defender? You know, but we do have young defensemen on their way next year in Axelson and Sh and Drysdale. So it's like, I'd like to keep them and let them go for a, a playoff run. You know what I mean? Let them go. Same thing with Josh Manson. One year left. Not a lot of trade value. I'd rather trade Ekholm for the value than Manson. Uh, Gooley's there. Larson's there. They're doing their jobs. Uh, right wingers, Raquel. Connolly, I'm going to hold on to him. Nolachari, don't worry about these guys. This is what I mean about the cap. We're going to have tons of cap in the next uh, few years. Don't worry. All these contracts will go. Uh, Verana, so he signed... Yeah, six years, $8 million per, which is amazing for us. Uh, I have follows going to be up this year. Comtois, Max Jones, uh, he's probably going to go up with the production he's given us. Uh, Hyman, I can always trade at the end of this season when he's in his last year of his contract. Uh, these guys might uh, retire. Uh, Gru and Tracy, they're growing in the AHL. Uh, centers, Getzlaff, Steele, Kopp, Lundstrom, Grant, Zegris down here. Yeah, so no one really, sometimes you have values that just jump out of nowhere. We don't really have anybody on the team that whose value has jumped. But let's go through some of these other teams and see what we can do. So Ekholm, Sanford, I don't need, if we're going to get somebody, it's got to be like a Vrana type. You know what I mean? Now, a lot of players will become available uh, once the trade deadline starts, but I don't think we should be going, like, this guy's Simon Edvinson. Do you trade, like, Ekholm in a first for this guy? You know what I mean? Do you, do you try to do something like that where it's like, all right, they're going for a cup run. Do we just give up on the year and say, uh, uh, Ekholm, here you go for Edvinson? I don't want to do anything like that. You know what I mean? I, that just sets us back. We're in the playoffs this year. I think we can we can make some noise, man. 
We had like a nine game winning streak this season. We can do it. We just continue to go through the team. Uh, Darnell Nurse, 87 overall. Woo, big time defenseman. Uh, all power play line, so not a penalty killer. I don't think that one works. You'd have to give up a lot of value. It's essentially a rental. Uh, Dominic Calhoun, can't play him this year anyways. Uh, Yarn Croc, okay. Uh, Hoffman, Strawman, Uyghur, nah. Uh, Granlin, Brown, Gusev. Gusev maybe is a playmaker on the wing in case you want to just load up and, and, and replace Zegers and Lundstrom until we get into the playoffs. Uh, could do that. Brodeen, here we go. Seven years, $6 million per. Uh, defensive pairing number two. So that's like a, there you go. Would they want Ekholm? That'd be hilarious if they want Ekholm. No, they don't. They're looking to give up defensemen. That's why. So you can go with a, a team like uh, Minnesota and target either Spur, not Spurgeon, but Brodeen could be interesting given his age and his contract. I just don't know too much about him. Uh, discard the trade. Yeah, discard the trade. Yeah. Kiprasov, no. Uh, Ryan Ellis, six years left at 31 years of age. Nah, the, the trade value is way too high, and he's getting up there in age. Uh, P.K. Subban, one year left. He's going to be a free agent. Anders Lee, Bailey, Eberly. Interesting. Bunch of players here for uh, for the Islanders. Uh, but they're all in their, like, their 30s. So, again, it's like, it's like uh, what's it called? It's like rentals. Chris Kreider, nah. Mika Zabinijad, nah. Uh, Zdeno Chara, Zaitsev, nah. McQuaid, nah. Poulin, nah. Eric Carlson, nah. Brent Burns, don't need any veterans. We already made that trade. Now, there's nothing really popping out. There's prospects right now. JT Miller, whoa. That's one that I like. Two years left. Forward line number two. The only reason I like a guy like JT Miller is because of the defensive aspect. Like, he makes us even better defensively, and that could be a penalty killer. You know what I mean? I could throw him on the penalty kill, and that's a big one for us. Let me see what he does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That could be a nice one. Okay, so JT Miller, just to help out this year, and he'd be coming back next year. Uh, let me see what else is there. Peyton Krabs, no. LaPierre, no. Winnipeg, no. Okay, that's it. So the only real one that I got is JT Miller. Now, what would they want for a JT Miller if we're going to do this? Uh, Lundstrom. Interesting. Interesting. The reason that's interesting is because Lundstrom, you know, you got Zegris, you got Ricard Raquel, you got Lundstrom. I'm just thinking about, you know, where this guy is uh, eventually going to slot into our lineup. Now, I like his face-offs. Uh, carry, shoot, balance, don't block. It could probably play well with Jacob Vrana. I don't know. Sam Steele as well. You're right. I didn't even say Sam Steele. He's 22. Do it. <sighs> the only thing about JT Miller, he gives us this year, next year. You could sign him for like six years would work for JT Miller, right? What else do they want? Hang on a second. Skaters matching the blocks. So you got Lundstrom. Uh, no, no, no. Tracy, Perry, Gru, Axel Anderson. Yeah, you got a trade here. The reason you got to trade here is because we got a lot of prospects that they want, and they want to give up JT Miller. This is pretty much a straightforward trade. It just depends on which one we want. Do it now? Well, I want to give the YouTube crowd a chance to chime in on this one, because this is a big trade. Send the whole thing. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. We also have the trade deadline, so it's like, you know, do you want to wait to the trade deadline to do that trade, or what? So we're going we're gonna to wait on that one. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. Oh, and last but not least, we did send out our scouts. So the draft class, let's see what we got. In year number two, Shane Wright, medium franchise, going first overall. Uh, Brad Lampert, fucking high elites, going second overall. Who is this guy? Bernd Kopitz. I got to send a scout out to Germany. We got to figure out about that guy. Maloney, Stobitz, Cook, Savoy, Gouche. Oh, man, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Tank for Shane. <laughs> hey, well, if we just miss out on the playoffs, that'll probably give us a good lottery pick, right? Because it's always it's always those high pick teams that uh, win the lottery and get uh, selected in the top three. So let me know what you guys think. I think it was a solid video for Anaheim. They're back in contention. Uh, even if we miss the playoffs, it's still a successful year acquiring Verana and growing everyone. Everyone's had a good defensive year. They're scoring some goals, the players that we want to score goals anyways. So the growth continues, but it would be really nice if we could get into the playoffs with Getzlaff and Perry one more time before they retire. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you all next time.
Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit! I should have gone with Jose for Nandez! Oh my god, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.